Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to stock your pantry with herbs and spices, and also go over some of the food storage times for those items. Let's get to it. Okay, so before we get into it, I just wanna say one thing. I'm really kind of focusing on dried herbs here. This is not for fresh herbs and spices, so dried herbs, and I've kind of grouped things by how you use them. So, okay, are you ready? So the first thing we have is sea salt or salt in general. I prefer sea salt because the storage time on sea salt is indefinite, it just lasts forever. But if you have iodized salt, it's only five years. So just something to know, but it'll keep fresh for five years if it's iodized, if it's sea salt indefinitely. Next up is black pepper. So if it's ground black pepper, then it'll actually last up to two years. But if it's still whole peppercorns, four years. Bay leaves, which are like, you know, a staple in soup, stocks, and lots of different dishes, um, those brothier dishes, it'll actually stay fresh for three months in the pantry, but if you put it in the freezer, it'll stay fresh for a year. So the following herbs will actually keep fresh for about three years when stored properly. They don't spoil, but here's the thing. So like, they do lose their potency. So you wanna make sure, if you wanna make sure that they're still good to use, that you're gonna get something out of them, you can just rub some of the herbs between your fingers and just give it a smell. If the oils are still there and you know potent enough, then you'll be able to smell those aromas, so that's how you tell. So let's get to that list. So you have oregano, thyme, basil, parsley, and Italian seasoning. Okay, so now onto the spicy things. First up, crushed red pepper. This will keep for about three years when stored properly. The following spices that I'm about to mention, they'll actually stay fresh for up to four years. But once again, just like before, the quality, the flavor does degrade over time. So none of these things will ever really spoil, but you can always test them to see if they are you know, potent and fresh enough to still use. So once again, just rubbing them between fingers, see if you can get some of those oils and flavors, and then just give it a smell. You know, If it's still pretty strong, it's still good to use. So you have chili powder, and then cayenne pepper, paprika, cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, curry powder, and turmeric. Okay, so now for those baking spices. Let's start with cinnamon. So ground cinnamon will actually last about one year past the best buy date, but if it's whole cinnamon sticks, they'll last about four years. Nutmeg, it'll last two years if it's ground and four years if it's whole. Ground cloves will last up to four years and just kind of like before, it doesn't spoil. If you want to test it to make sure it's good, just kind of rub it between your fingers and give it a smell. If it's aromatic, it's good to use. Same thing with allspice. Allspice will actually last four years too. And once again, just, you know, give it a smell and see if it's still good for you. Vanilla extract, if you have the pure stuff, which I highly recommend, if you buy pure vanilla extract, it actually will last indefinitely, it's forever. Um, if you buy the imitation stuff, it'll last about a year past the best buy date. Cocoa powder, it'll last um, about two years, opened or not, past the best buy date. And last but not least, ground ginger. If you have ground ginger, it'll last about two years past the best buy date. And as a general rule, you know, what you're looking for here, you want to store these things in a dark, cool place, airtight containers, avoid moisture, you know, that sort of thing. Those are all general rules for most of the items on this list. Another thing about this too is just kind of use common sense. If it smells weird, looks weird, tastes weird, it's probably bad. Get rid of it. And hey, that's how you stock your pantry with herbs and spices. See you guys next time. Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about how to store, whoop, I'm gonna start that all over. <laughs> the following spices that I'm about to match. So close. Take 4,000. <laughs>